I'm here in the Superstition Mountains in Arizona, and tonight I'm spending the night with no tent, which is like a big deal to me, but apparently for everybody here, it's really common. So we're cowboy camping, but I am. This is my show, gosh darn. All right, cowboy camping, yeehaw! Oh, I said I wasn't gonna yeehaw, and I did it. The only horse that will be here is horsing around. <laughs> and this little cactus has this little, look at that little bud with the little flowers on it. We're probably not too far, maybe a half a mile or so from uh, the creek. Wow, there's a huge cricket over here. Oh my gosh, is this a grasshopper? <gasps> Is that not just the most beautiful thing? Are you afraid with cowboy camping that you're like gonna wake up and there's like a scorpion on your face? I wasn't, but now I am. <laughs> 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 My biggest concern is that because every little noise, like I've like taught myself that like every little noise that I hear is like not something scary, mm. you know, like in yeah. a tent. But with this, it's like, every noise I hear, I'll be able to open my eyes and like see whatever it is. <laughs> so like, I'm worried that I won't, I'm mostly concerned that I'm not gonna sleep well, more than I'm actually concerned about that like being anything scary. Yeah, so. that makes sense. All right, we've gone about a little over two miles. We're kind of like approaching the hottest part of the day. The sun's almost directly overhead. I believe that from here, we're gonna start descending down towards LaBarge Creek. We actually passed over a spot that I had marked as a point to get water, um, but there's no water there. So <laughs> luckily at LaBarge, it looks like it's like a definite. So we just got down into, like came down from the canyons to a creek bed where I was expecting there to be water. There's definitely not. So we're gonna try and figure out where we might come across some water. We did run into a couple people who have done this trail before and they were recommending a few spots where there's like springs. Um, and from up high, we could see the pools of water along the creek. So we're just gonna try and assess and figure out like what the best next course of action is. Um, try and get some agua. Also, I have to poop. Are you guys trying to like filter water? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we took a little detour trying to find some water here. So we uh, walked up this path to the right here, but we're actually, we talked to some people and decided to backtrack and we're headed along, this is Barge Creek right here. So we're gonna follow this path along Barge Creek and hopefully get to some water fairly soon. So yeah, just a bit of a detour and we should be camping once we get to those springs along the Barge Creek. That's where we're, uh, we're like really looking for water. Big really. flat rock area. Thanks. Cool. Appreciate Thank it. Have a good day, y'all. Have a great day. Oh, there's like a pool over there. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a mood. I'm in a way. So we just got to, I think, where we're gonna actually end up camping for the night. There's a ton of water behind me. Um, something I have not talked about in these videos before is that I have uh, chronic migraines and unfortunately heat and dehydration is kind of triggering a headache here. So we just got to this beautiful camp area. There's water here. It's definitely filterable. And then it looks like right over there. Unless it's an oasis or a mirage, that's water. Sorry, we'll see. We'll see y'all soon. We're gonna recover for a second. This hike actually wound up being a little bit more grueling and a little bit more 
exhausting than I think we expected. All three of us ran out of water and we had been talking to groups of people who were like, oh, there's this beautiful pool of water, like there's lots of water. And we came up this creek, came around these trees and saw this little trickle of water. And I was like, oh, this is so amazing. There's a little bit of water here. And then as soon as we came up a little further, we saw this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the whole setup is gonna be really basic. I'm putting down my closed cell phone sleeping pad, which is a regular length, so it's really long. And that's just to protect my air pad from the ground. And then my sleeping bag just goes on top and that's kind of it. So I'm using a Nemo switchback closed cell phone sleeping pad. And then I'm using the Nemo Tensor um, insulated sleeping pad. Pillow? It's the Nemo Pillow Elite Pillow, which I adore. And then I have my disco sleeping bag. And there you have it. All right, boom. That's pretty much it. This rock here is really helping protect me from the wind because like when I sit up, I can feel the wind, but like lying down here, um, I don't, which is great. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Avocado. Wow. This is my cowboy pinto beans that I'm excited about. It's like 8.30, maybe not even. It's 8.30, 8.26 right now, um, but I am exhausted. I'm definitely being like like attacked by an onslaught of crickets already. Um, but aside from that, it's really cozy here. Um, I am definitely feeling a little bit nervous, which is sort of silly because like, I know that a tent wall is not protecting me from anything, but just um, not having the tent is making me a little nervous. So yeah, um, that's it. Good. One second. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. So I just woke up. That was my camp. Um, it is absolutely beautiful this morning. It's very cool and nice out. I slept really well. Um, I definitely woke up like when I feel something on my sleeping bag. I woke up a few times because like crickets jumped <laughs> near my face and that like woke me up. Um, but otherwise I slept really well. Good morning, Rainer. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of debated like bringing a 15 degree bag and I'm so glad I did it because <laughs> I would have been so hot. I use the Nemo Disco. The Nemo Disco has these things called thermo gills, which are like little I think this is all of Nemo's disco bags, maybe even all of their sleeping bags, have these little zippers on the front that allow you to like release some heat right here. Boom. Yeah, that was really helpful because then I could like have the sleeping bag closed and not be like scared about, you know, um, like crickets and things, but um, get some ventilation. So pretty cool feature. It's kind of funny. I think I feel really like well rested and sort of happy this morning. One, because my headache is gone. Two, because I just had a really good night's sleep. And three, because I think I have this sense of pride that I was, I was like really scared. And so now that I did it and nothing happened and I'm fine, I think I'm feeling giddy with pride. Everything sort of like slid around a whole bunch. And so my sleeping bag is like, like full of dirt. Just everything is just like full of dirt. And my sleeping bag is full of dirt and therefore I am full of dirt, so. <laughs> I 
I'm out of time. One of the biggest concerns that I had was that not having a tent waking up in the middle of the night, I would be more nervous because I wouldn't have this like protective layer. But uh, instead, when I did wake up in the middle of the night to like open my eyes and just see the stars overhead, it felt really grounding. Especially after having a, a day and like an evening with a little bit of anxiety, like dealing with, with pain and dealing with the migraine, I mean, it's like really nice to wake up in the middle of the night and feel like, you know, supported by the earth. I know that cowboy camping is really popular for some people and it's something that they love to do. And for people like me, it's something that's kind of like scary and nerve wracking. So hopefully if you've been considering cowboy camping, this uh, gives you a good idea of what it's like and maybe encourages you to try it yourself. And if you are an avid cowboy camper, I would love to hear any tips and recommendations that you have in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, the Miranda in the Wild channel, as well as the REI channel. And I will see you all in the wild. Bye. I don't want to leave. <laughs>